So we've been working with um, several of the world's largest auto manufacturers in terms of looking at autonomous vehicle um, analysis. And specifically, what we've been doing is looking at a, at a corpus of um, large amounts of historical data that uh, where where these autonomous vehicles were basically operating in the wild under testing under under uh, uh, testing activities, um, and basically that's what you're looking at here is a collection of all of that data. So in this case, we're looking at I believe close to 500 million records of historic data of, of across maybe a, a dozen or so autonomous vehicles over the course of a year. And what's important about this is with our geospatial rendering, obviously we can look at, we can see the concentrations of where these vehicles spend the majority of their time in this heat map rendering. But more importantly is we can actually run very, uh, very efficient and very performant aggregations and statistics on, um, on the activities of these AVs. And, the, and as we go through these charts, we'll kind of iterate over those. So this chop chart is actually showing me total events by road class. So across all of these roughly 12 AVs that we're testing for the last year, how many, um, basically it, it, it summarizes for me the types of roads that they preferred to operate on as they were testing. Obviously the primary roads are things like you know, interstates and highways, secondary roads are county highways, you know, city uh, um, or state highways and major roads and everything down to urban roads and residential and so forth. But you can actually see the breakout of what the AVs preferred to operate on when they were, uh, in, when they were doing their testing uh, over the period of time here. What's interesting here is, as we look at the second chart, is that you can actually see disengagements by road class. So disengagements are actually defined as um, events where the autonomous vehicle had to disengage and the physical and the human driver had to take over because it encountered a situation that it didn't know how to address in an automated fashion, obviously. And what's interesting about this is that although the vast majority of the total events occur on primary roads and secondary roads, you can see that when you specifically filter that by disengagements, you can see that most of those disengagements actually occur on urban roads and residential roads. And that obviously makes sense, if, especially if you think about urban roads, you know, you have high concentrations, high con con congestion, usually pedestrian traffic. Um, so there's probably more types of uh, real world scenarios where the AV is going to have to disengage, but it's just interesting to see those stats um, here across this uh, large data set. And then second, uh, thirdly, down here on the vehicle exceptions, you basically have just exceptions per, uh, per vehicle by type. And so you, you can actually see that there's a classification here, of um, event codes from zero to three. And as you go up to, uh, you know, zero are kind of minor infractions and three all, the way, uh, three all the way up to three, which define disengagements and high impact events. So you can kind of see that the, across the, uh, the different AVs that were tested, um, the distribution of, of the severity of different types of exceptions there. And then in the, in the middle here on the bottom, you actually see exceptions by road class. So um, again, you know, per road class, I can see the, the most common types of exceptions that occur across this uh, corpus of data. And then lastly, the most obvious thing is, you know, how many, give me, show me the total miles that were accumulated per vehicle in an autonomous mode. You can see, you know, which ones are, are clocking the most, uh, the most testing there. Um, but interestingly, as you, as you zoom in even further and we will get in beyond the heat maps is, you know, the ability for us to analyze and visualize and, and spatially enrich the actual road network. So what you're looking at here is um, the actual underlying road segments and they're color coded in, in this case by how frequently they were traversed by the AV. And so the, the lighter green areas are showing us vehicle uh, road segments that were um, the least commonly traversed. And as you get to the yellow or the orange, it's you know, moderately traversed to the red, which were the, the most frequently traversed road segments. And so you can actually see the roads that were utilized or preferred um, by, the, by the vehicles in their testing.